Hi everybody, Cheryl here, and I am here today to show you the alligator skin bracelet. I'm going to show, you, show it to you today on the rainbow loom. I had um, a lot of really positive responses for this bracelet, so I think that everybody is enjoying it. So I thought I'd show it to you, how to show you how to do it on the rainbow loom this time. It really is a simpler bracelet to do, I think, and I think that you won't have a problem learning how to do it. So we're going to get started. The setup on the loom for this is um, nice and separate. Take out the middle bar, face one to the right, face the other one to the left. And your bands are going to go vertical your first row as just like a lot of my bracelets you can make this wider if you want to the width is just going to depend on how many bands you put vertical so you could do this all the way up to one peg short from the end so you could start here and go all the way up to here to make this bracelet. You can't go to the end, but if you do your base bands that I'm putting on now, you could start here, one peg in, one set of pegs in, and in here one set of pegs in. If you want to make it that big, that's where you're going to start. All right, I'm only making it three pegs, three sets of pegs. Your next row is going to be diagonal. Not blue. And if you were doing the whole loom, this is why you're why you didn't start the first row all the way out here because if you're doing diagonal, you would start here and go in. So you need this extra set of pegs to start your diagonal if you're doing the full loom. Okay, so this is your setup to get started and then from here you are going to go in I've been painting today can you tell them I'm all painted up and you are going to pull the bottom layer over the top up into the middle And you're going to turn it and do the same thing for the other side. And it's just one band over one band each time. Push everything down. And your next row is going to be your vertical row. Not twisted this time, just straight up and down and again you're going to be pulling the bottom row over the top row one band over one band turn it and do the other side Now you're doing the vertical again, or diagonal, excuse me. Pull these up and over. Every time you're lifting up and over, it's always one band over one band. The bands that I'm using 
I purchased on Amazon.com and they are called Lucky Loom Bands. They're silicone bands and the only place I know to get them is Amazon.com. Again, the name is Lucky Loom Bands. Right, now I'm going back to the vertical. So it's a simple two-step pattern, nice and easy, but I think it gives a nice look in the bracelet. I think that I like this one as much as I like the dragon scale. I like that they're both nice basic patterns, but they give a, a pretty look to them. Back to the vertical. Diagonal, excuse me. Oh, sounds like somebody's mowing their lawn. So you probably hear a little bit of a louder noise out there. So we're just repeating through this same pattern over and over. Let's see if we can get someone to pull out the bottom so you can get an idea of what it's looking like. It's just starting to come out the bottom. Alright, and since we're just repeating the same pattern over and over, I'm going to pause and I'm going to go back and um, finish it up and come back and show you how to take it off the loom. Okay, I have this almost long enough for my wrist. So I'm going to do a few more rows here and then I'm going to show you how to take it off. So let me get up some bands. And I am on the diagonal for this. I do have people ask me about the hook that I use. This hook is a crochet hook and you can get them at just about any craft store. And um, the one I'm using right now is a 2.25 millimeter. They come in all different sizes and um, if you're interested in using one, you can just get the size that, you know, looks best for you. I go between, I use all different sizes. I use smaller ones when I do um, 
the designs on the forks and bigger ones when I do designs on the loom. Okay, so now I'm still alternating between the diagonal and the vertical. I'm just going to do a few more of these alternating rows and then I'm going to show you how to take this off. One more set. Goodness, that band just didn't want to be on there. Then I'm going to end with the vertical. It's going to be the last one that I put on. I'm going to take this end one off and move it over one place. Yep. And I'm going to pull the blue up over it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Take the end one off, move it over one place. And then pull the bottom one up over top of it. And push everything down. 